everyone welcome to my channel today i'm tara with pieces of tara artistry and this is kind of an exciting one because it's a collab with all of the artists and the fluid art experience uh, we are doing our giveaway paintings so this painting here is the one that i will be donating to the raffle at the gala dinner this is a custom blue uh, satin enamel recipe. Here is the satin enamel base coat recipe. This is the white satin enamel base coat recipe that I will also be using. So I'm using both colors, white and this custom blue. The blue is actually drips that I did add a little bit of satin enamel to um, to make sure that there was enough of it uh, still in the, the mix to create pearls. So this is actually one of my favorite that I've done recently. The color is really, really pretty. And yeah, I'm just really, really excited about this one. Uh, it is a pearl cell um, combo. Uh, so the combo of the pearls and the Dutch pour, which I really do love doing. And this one really made me excited about doing them again. I've been kind of doing some different stuff lately. So this is the Golden Fluids Interference Gold. So I didn't add anything to this other than my pouring medium. And that was the recipe for my pouring medium and for this paint that I just flashed on the screen, as well as my Dutch pour colors that you're gonna see later on. That is the recipe. So guys, if you don't aren't good with description boxes, um, all of the recipes are flashed on the screen. Take a screenshot and uh, you guys will be good to go. So um, this technique, you just really have to be uh, super diligent about these kind of extreme tilts and getting the paint off quickly as well as um, making sure you're getting enough of the paint off in order for the pearl cells to pop through. Now if you are beginning I would be I wouldn't probably choose the interference gold to uh, use as your pour over color because it does not have a tendency to pearl well and so you have to add more satin enamel to the base coat so that you're able to make sure that those pearl cells pop through now the old recipe with the old artist loft it was a lot easier but with the new recipes it is not as easy so I, um, I, I would not recommend doing this as a um, beginner, but thankfully at the Flute Art Experience, um, I will be teaching this technique and I will be showing these more advanced techniques with uh, the, the pearl cells. Um, there are certain paints that just are not gonna work well with the pearl pour. Uh, the Golden Interference is one of them, but it can be modified to make sure that you do get pearls. So, um, yeah, so that is something we will talk about at the Fluid Art Experience. Uh, this is a technique I will be teaching at Fluid Art Experience. It's going to be the Advanced Pearls um, and uh, combo class with um, we'll do some flip cups and some Dutch pour or blowouts um, and really it's going to be kind of more of a, um, a, a building on the pearl cells and figuring out how to create beautiful compositions with um, just different uh, techniques combined. So I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Fluid Art Experience is coming up pretty fast, November 17th through 19th. Uh, classes, um, I do still have some openings for my classes, so please go check out the fluidartexperience.com and see what classes are still available and um, sign up for those it's going to be a really good time uh the one in july we had a lot of fun uh, the venue is really nice um it has the um the the classrooms the hotel rooms 
there's food options right there all in the same venue which is really nice um, the gala dinner the wrap party is all at the same venue um, I'm sorry not the wrap party the the meet and greet and the gala dinner is at the same venue and um, the wrap party is off site um, but it's not that far uh, so it's kind of nice to have everything right there. Um, there is actual food options that you can choose for lunch this time. There is some um, lunchtime um, activities and free demonstrations, which is kind of cool. Artists till death and... Um, I'm trying to think up. Uh, Deco Art and Amsterdam will all have demonstrations during the noon hour um, or the lunch hour. Uh, so it is going to be such a wealth of information. It's really, a f it's fun. It's really, um, everybody is really joyful at this event and it is, it's just, it's a nice, nice event. So hope to see you guys there. If not, you can always just keep watching on YouTube. We love it. And um, hopefully I'll make uh, a, an event later on. Um, but here I am going to, I've sat and waited, I'm, I'm gonna say probably like maybe 20, 25 minutes. Usually I'll wait like between 15 and 30 minutes now before I start the Dutch pour because I like for the pearls to start setting up and to see where the pearls are going to form so that I can make my Dutch pour accordingly. Um, so yeah, I just laid all my colors down. Um, I am using the interference gold in the actual Dutch pour portion, which it is so pretty because when it it dries over light colors, it is very light, but when it dries over a dark color, you really see that gold coming through and it's really pretty. So you'll see that in the the um, oh, the, the dried results on this one. So I just blow this out. Um, and the thing with these pores is that you have to be pretty precise on your blowout because you don't really have another uh, another like go round with it because um, you don't want to disturb all the pearls that are setting up. So I mean, you can add to it. You can kind of try and like change it if you need to, but it's not always the easiest with these pores. So um, I I will like look and look and look, and I notice it just wasn't balanced well for me. So I added in kind of another arm to this um, Dutch pour portion. I'm really glad I did. I felt like there was so much more balance. These colors are really, really pretty. I love that Sakai from TLP. It is so vibrant. It's so shimmery. You'll see it at the end. It's so pretty. Now these are just tweaks that I do after I go ahead and blow things out. I look for places where um, there's kind of blobs of paint or there's kind of like, like you just saw, like there's a, 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 um, a part to the paint that just kind of stops and it doesn't like blend in with the rest of the blowout. So I will like take my popsicle stick or my finger and I'll kind of blend that or pull that paint through so that it looks like it blends better. And um, you'll actually see me do that. I'm gonna turn the the, um, the canvas here in just a couple of minutes and, um, or maybe a minute, I don't know. But I'm gonna show you how there's kind of a, if you look like almost dead center right now, there is a like blue, green, gray kind of blob. Um, and it just was bothering me. It, my eye was going right to that and it just was not, it wasn't looking good to me. So I'm actually going to bring you down for a close up so that you can see how, you know, I do fiddle with this quite a bit until I'm happy. Um, 
but I, I did put my finger in see see how that pull up that white paint what will happen is that'll start puffing out so I didn't want that to happen so I added in some more paint and I used my finger I tried to pull some out and then I got my pipette out and I started to pull some of that paint paint out a little bit kind of tried to blend some of that area right there um, and move some more paint through it um, so it yeah it when you get these sections like that just keep working on it it'll it'll come together um, this one it did get broken up and it looks great so um, this is basically this is not the composition I like this is the composition I like this is the wet results it um, turned out really really pretty uh, the blending of all the colors was nice the pearls turned out really great and I did actually like that I got some pearls through the Dutch pour portion normally I don't like a ton of pearls in the Dutch pour portion but I was really okay with the amount that came through on this one sometimes it just looks very organic and um, I don't know it even though it's not underwater and these really, I don't know, maybe they're a little bit underwater colors, but um, I really think they're so, so pretty. So here is the dry results now. Um, if you look, um, you can really see how pretty those um, TLPs are in this one and the interference gold, of course. But that the TLPs just really add such a different dimension to the the paintings um, and I do have a video that shows how I mix my paints um, these TLPs the pigments for like a Dutch pour and for these pour over colors if you want to take a look at I'll put the, that in the description box but look at these pearls I was so excited to get such nice pearls and um, yeah, it was great. So I want to thank you guys all for being here. Um, check out the rest of the collab for the Fluid Art Experience teachers, instructors, and uh, we really hope to see you at this um, event. So thank you guys again for being here and have a great day. Bye y'all.